to another video happy sunday and i am getting ready to go to church yeah so i just want to go for like a real cute natural beat today i guess i want to go for that a clean girl i think it's the clean girl look i want to go for the clean girl look today so that is what we are going to do and we're going to talk a little bit because i got some things i kind of want to get off my chest so we're going to talk but first i want to go ahead and start getting into this makeup and i'm going to start with putting this the abba piedmont first spray serum on my face so it's a double layer of serum enriched with a white truffle um so basically it is hydrating and it's it helps your skin radiate a bit so i'm gonna start with this so I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm going to just go ahead and brush them out a bit. So I really like for my eyebrows to stay thick but not too thick. But it takes me a while to get them exactly how I want them. Not really a while, just a little second. Because I'm kind of picky about my eyebrows. Because I have thick eyebrows but I don't want them to look bushy. So... So yesterday I watched this video about like negative thinking and how we so often fall into this trap of just thinking so negatively, not realizing that our thoughts are what create our reality. So when something, so when you already think something negative is going to happen, you're basically manifesting that into your reality. And then when it actually happens, you're like, see, I told you that was going to happen. But whole time, all you did was manifest that. A lot of people are like over this whole manifesting thing. But no, not, I won't say a lot of people, but some people are like, everybody has a different opinion about it. You really do manifest your reality. If you think positively about things, then you can expect a positive outcome. If you think negative about every single thing, then your mind is literally going to gravitate towards the most extreme negative outcome. My eyebrows are literally the hardest to do. Nothing else. Nothing else. I wonder if negative thinking has anything to do with depression like do we think ourselves into depression thoughts that need answers and another thing i honestly think we just be so hard on ourselves especially like in your 20s like it's it's kind of hard not to be hard on yourself especially in this day and age like i don't really know what was going on back in the day but with social media it's hard not to be hard on yourself like you got friends that's buying houses or just people on your feed. You got people that's buying houses, buying cars, and I'm talking about nice cars, dream cars, if you will. You got people that's living in nice apartments, nice luxury apartments. You got people that's buying designer clothes. You got people that's still living with their parents. Like everybody's situation is different. So it's like, it's kind of hard not to compare yourself to that but at the same token you don't know at all what that person is doing for that you don't know if it's just a massage you don't even know if they sacrifice that for their dinner like you don't know like you literally never freaking know i feel like it's important to just go at your own race and know that when it's your time it's your time like you literally never know so it's, but I like, I feel like it's easy to say, don't try to like judge your like judge or don't try to plan your life off of social media. But when it actually comes down to it, so I'm going in with the uh, Born This Way concealer. And like I said, I'm doing a clean girl look, so I'm not going to do too much. But anyways, when it comes down to it, it's hard. It's hard. It is very hard not to compare yourself on social media because everybody's doing something different. Everybody's posting their highlights. Everybody's saying, hey, look what I did. Nobody is showing the ugly parts. So it's easy to fall into that trap of 
oh i'm behind i'm not doing enough maybe i need to do a little bit more like it's so it's so 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 easy to fall into that trap but you just gotta know that your time gonna come when it's your time don't rush yourself because you might end up getting yourself in something that you don't want to be in so just take your time like my daddy always say take your time young girl take your time and just go with the flow of life like don't allow life to happen to you but just learn to go with the flow and that's something that i'm learning because i don't know how to go with the flow baby what are we doing what's happening right now like are we doing this or no like uh what's happening so like when i say that i'm really talking to myself i have found that a good way for me to like really deal with thinking negatively and just thinking the absolute worst is really just sitting with myself for a minute and say do you really think that's going to happen like is that really what you think is going to manifest for you you have all of these other good things happening and you really think this one thing is going to go this way do you really think you were putting this life to suffer I was not made to suffer if I suffer it is probably because one I need to learn a lesson or two I put myself in that situation honestly it just goes back to I need to use a different way. honestly it just goes back to um so one I need to learn a lesson so I'm using a um the Sephora foundation brush you really are, all these brushes are going to be the sephora brushes the next time you have a negative thought i really just want you to sit and think about it for a second and say was i put on this life to suffer is this really going to happen to me or am i manifesting this to happen to me i don't know this under eye is like not it but we can get it right I'm not doing eyeshadow, so I'm trying to decide, would it be wise to do it on my eyelid? So I'm not wearing eyeshadow. I don't know y'all. Look, there goes the negative thought. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop it as soon as it come. I feel like people in general would just be a lot happier if we just changed our mindsets about things and that's like me really again talking to myself because sometimes i just need to change my mindset a lot of times things do not be as bad as i think they are it really just be me over exaggerating because it ain't happening how i want it to happen if you are in your early 20s just learn to Really not be so hard on yourself. You don't deserve that. You deserve to live a life filled with ease. Everybody does. I just feel like life should life shouldn't be hard. I feel like a lot of times we just make life hard. So on this foundation. And I don't know if it's really giving clean girl anymore, but we gonna see, we gonna see. So I'm just gonna like pound it into my skin kinda. So I have, I didn't even tell y'all what foundation I was using, but this is the, uh, the Fenty Beauty. It is in the shade A450. In this season, I'm just really trying to work on like time management and that's something that's important. Building healthy habits. Oh my gosh. Do you know how important it is to build a healthy habit? You don't want to be 35 years old or even older still doing the same things that you were doing when you were younger because when you don't like look at yourself and say oh shoot like i'm messing up in this area i need to get it together and you continuously keep doing that thing all you are doing is creating space for you to be able to have it 
But once you realize that habit and you say, okay, I need to do better. So my, my unhealthy thing is that I am not on time. I'm hardly ever on time to anywhere and to anything. Granted, it may just be like, you know, five, two, three, five minutes, but it's going to be a point in my time where that two, three, five minutes really freaking counted. So that's something that I'm trying to do better with now so that when I'm older or let's say, for instance, opportunities like really good opportunities might start rolling in and I have to be very punctual about my time. I don't want my unhealthy habit to be something that gets in the way of that. So what are you doing that you need to change? What are you doing? Because I feel like we don't call ourselves out enough. But some of us, myself included, are also way too hard on ourselves. So while it is important to call yourself out on your BS, I think it's also important to give yourself a little bit of grace because you're still learning, you're still growing, and you're still trying to figure life out. It's people who are in their 50s still trying to figure life out. Now, people who have been doing something for so long and then they come to see like in their 50s, like this isn't working for me. They may be in a career field for a certain amount of time and they're like, okay, this isn't working. I need to try something else. And that's okay. That's what I mean when I say like, everybody's still trying to figure life out. Like life, life be life in, and everyone's trying to figure it out. So extend some grace today. All right, y'all, so I'm going in with the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. I'm only going to use a little bit because like I said, we are going for a clean girl look um, just to cover our blemishes a bit. But I do want to go and clean up under my eyes a bit. So, I feel like I could do a little bit up here, but just to make it all even, even though we aren't doing, I just want to make it a little even. I feel like it really makes my eyes stand out more. Can you see? Like, this one looks like pow, and this one's just like, eh, give me some milk. I got the milk. So, like, I haven't really gotten into... Like the whole drama under my eyebrows thing. And I just don't think that's really needed for this look specifically. But I probably, it probably would have helped me shape, shape them a little better. But I'm not going to be too picky about that today. Because as I keep saying... We're going for a clean girl look. Okay. So we have that down. So now what I'm about to do is go in with my setting powder. Make sure I use the right brush this time. So yeah, like I said, this is the Sarah, the Sarah. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder. It's the translucent one, I think. Yeah, translucent medium deep. Um, I watched Aaliyah J's video and she was saying that the translucent powder, the one that comes in the, I don't remember what color it was, but well, I feel like when you do your makeup, your nose starts running. Is that normal? I watched Aaliyah J's video and she was just saying how this setting powder is better than the one, the Laura Mercier one that comes in a different top. So I just tried it because, you know, oh, what the heck? <laughs> You trust in Aaliyah J. So. Alright. So like I said. We're going to go in with our setting powder. And I don't want to do too much. Like, I just don't want it to be too much. I don't like anything too 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 extra. So. Especially on a clean girl look. Like, you can almost. Not even see it. Not too much. And it's looking like a lot. <laughs> for me anyway. It's looking like a lot for me. But it's alright because we're going to smooth this on out. Okay. 
And then I do want to just use a little bit of blush. Honestly, this, like, if I were to wear makeup every day, I would honestly say this is probably, like, this would probably be my go-to routine. Not a whole lot, but just enough that you know something is on there. Let me... So now I'm using my Sephora blush brush. If you guys know any good brushes, just comment down below and let me know because, like I said, I want to get into it. So, I feel like we was having a conversation before I started doing this but basically moral of the story guys is we're young if you're in your 20s if you're even if you're in your 30s I feel like 40s is even young no matter what age you are just take life one day at a time it's always gonna be something literally always at this point we should we should expect something so just do what makes you happy surround yourself around people who make you happy and just don't take life so serious like I know it's hard not to do that because you feel like you got to have your stuff together tomorrow because in my teen like I feel like I robbed myself of my teenage years because I always felt like I needed to be here where I am right now in this moment so now that I'm actually here sometimes I find myself wishing that I was there but now in this season I'm starting to just enjoy where I am like I really just want to take this moment in because this is the exact moment that I've always kind of wanted for myself so even though it doesn't look exactly like everything maybe everything isn't in place exactly the way that I want it to be it's here you're living in it enjoy it and stop being so hard on yourself like we really as a people have to learn not to be hard on ourselves so i'm about to put on some lashes so i did have these lashes but they are kind of big and they're not what i'm going for i don't even i think i got these when i ordered some hair but they're kind of big and they're not what i'm going for but i do have some lashes that i have worn previously so i'm gonna just see what i could do with them and if they work they work if they don't then it's cool i'm not gonna stress about it but i think they're gonna work i just need to clean them off a bit so i got a question when y'all put on y'all lashes do y'all use hair glue or lash glue because i use hair glue and i'm i don't feel bad about it um i don't feel bad about it at all but if y'all know some good if y'all know some good lash glues comment down below and let your girl know because people be on my body about that like they be on my body like my friend she's like there's no way i'm putting hair glue on my lashes you know how hard it be to get it off girl yes that's why my lashes don't be going nowhere all day long <laughs> i do know how hard it is to get it off shoot a few weeks ago i was trying to get them lashes off baby and they was not coming off i was like okay well i guess we just gonna keep these on there okay i think i'm pulling too much because now the thread is coming up so i'm gonna just leave that right where it's at and move on what time is it Okay, it's 10, almost 10 30, so we need to start getting dressed. But we just take our time. So, yeah, and then back to like the unhealthy habits. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what habit do y'all have that y'all want to change. Like, because it's it is now June. Today is June 25th. I don't know when y'all will see this video. I don't know if y'all see it in June or if y'all see it at the beginning of July. Um, so we are halfway through the year what do you want to change comment down below talk to me let me know what do y'all want to change because i feel like how, how long does it take to build a habit it takes say two weeks to build a habit i don't know but what i do know is 
You can do anything that you put your mind to. And if you decide today that you just want to change, a change of scenery, changing your mindset, any kind of change, you can have it. I know a lot of people be saying like sky is the limit, but I tell myself often that the sky is not the limit. I can go higher than the sky. The sky is not my limit. Anything you want to change, do it. So let me brush these brows because they, they feel a little funny. Where did I get these lashes? Beauty supply store girl. This is not really giving clean girl too much, but maybe by the time I pull my hair down, let's see. I don't know though. Is it giving middle part or side part today? Let's see what it's giving. It's argan and Morocco oil. All right, the bob is bobbing, period. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love the face is facing and period. So let's go ahead and get dressed. Actually, let me put my jewelry on first. This is the Fenty Beauty in Gloss Bomb Heat. I think I'm gonna do gold jewelry. I got these from Amazon. And all my necklaces keep breaking. I wish I had a gold. Um, I would wear this necklace, but I don't think I have a. Yeah, I don't have a. I have this gold necklace. I think any necklace is better than no necklace. So I have this uh, Kate Spade. It's like a, it's like a ribbon or a bow. This was a gift to me for Christmas a few years ago. Right, so it's coming together. And then, of course I have to have rings. So, I'm too much with the bracelet. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna do this bracelet. And by the way, I thrifted this bracelet. This is a thrift store find. I don't have many gold rings, so I'm just gonna go with this snake ring that I got from TJ Maxx. Actually, I'm gonna put it on this hand because this arm already has a piece so this is what we're working with and now we're gonna get dressed and i'll come back to y'all right, okay guys i really don't know what happened here i think when i disconnected my microphone from the camera it stopped recording the sound but here i am doing my perfume i think no i'm about to show y'all my outfit so this is what i ended up wearing and then these are the shoes that i went with and then the lotion which is by way and then this is the perfume mixture i did both of them are ooze by Chagoff. Um, and y'all know I gotta put it everywhere, pressure points around the world, every single place. And then here, I'm going to be showing y'all the bag that I'm wearing with this outfit, which I got from Italy. Really, it came from Atlanta, but it was gifted to me in Italy. And then here, of course, I'm just thanking y'all for watching. And yeah, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and see me in the next video. Ciao.